Well, today I thought I would do a little upgrading on my trusty old Kenwood TS850. Had this thing for, oh geez, I don't know, uh, about 10 years or so, maybe a little bit more. Picked this thing up at a, uh, at a ham fest years ago. It, uh, it uh, fortunately came with uh, one of the uh, single so or the uh, CW filters. Came with a 500 hertz uh, CW filter in the uh, 8.33 uh, uh, IF section. And it uh, also came with the uh, TCXO option, which I didn't know that it came with until I uh, serviced it because it was a little off frequency. And when I made the adjustment, nothing happened. And so I had to open it up a little bit further and surprise. Wow, it had the TCXO option. It had never been adjusted. Uh, apparently they just installed it and it was I guess it was close enough. So, uh, but over the years it had drifted a little bit, so... I had to open it up and, and adjust it. But today, I want to put an extra filter in it. We're going to put this uh, this Kenwood uh, CW filter. This is another 500 hertz filter, but this one's for the uh, 455 uh, uh, KC IF section. So we're going to open this up, install it, and uh, see how much uh, it really performs on CW. So with these Kenwoods, to add filters, you don't have to tear the radio apart. There's, uh, there's this cover here on the bottom. Just remove these two screws, and uh, that'll open up the section to apply uh, new filters. And as you can see, with this cover off, we have the, uh, this, uh, this filter here. This is the, uh, the first uh, CW filter. I have another space here for the narrow CW filter, which I will put in a different one, a uh, 250 hertz filter. And this uh, new filter is going to go right here. These uh, two screws here are already provided, so all I have to do is remove them and insert the, uh, the filter into the radio. All right, all ready to go. Just kind of just did a little overview here. It seems to be just fine. I don't... Even though uh, this, I've used this radio quite a bit, there doesn't really seem to be much visible dust. So, I guess that means my, my the atmosphere in my shack is really clean. Anyway, I'll uh, put this thing back together and uh, power it up and check it out. Now, before I can put this thing back together, now that we've installed a new filter, we're going to have to change the setting on this dip switch which is located under this, this top panel here on the radio. So it's uh, switch number one, and since we now have this filter installed, we'll have to turn it to the on position. So I can reach in here with my finger, and uh, there we go. It's in the on position. So now I'm going to power up the radio and uh, use the... Uh, this filter button here, it should light up the uh, the 500 hertz position. So, put this sucker back together, slide it back into my desk over there, and uh, we'll see what she does. All right, back in place, everything's hooked up, sitting next to the 775. So let's turn her on. All right, what have we got here? Oh, awesome. Now, I can cascade those filters and get better uh, better filter skirts. Cool. Right on. Yeah, we got a contest going on this weekend, so I haven't really done... I've been just mostly monitoring. I haven't uh, participated in the contest, but uh, far out, man. Anyway, yeah, short video, Thank but uh, hey, for such an old radio, these transceivers are pretty decent. Um, there is a mode that you can get into that you can uh, select the <laughs> transmit width on your filters, which is, uh, I guess this this radio was uh, kind of popular with the ESS beers uh, back in the day. Uh, you just go into the menu. And you could set your transmit filter to 6 kilohertz, and you could even open it up all the way to 12 kilohertz if you wanted. And of course, you're doing double sideband at that point and using up lots of space. But 
Nice radio. I've had a lot of lot of fun with this thing. Yeah, nice radio. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh, let's get that back up there. So anyhow, yeah, I'll, I, I'll probably do some more ham radio stuff too. I mean, uh, this is after all, this is all my electronics channel anyway. Just got to encompass some ham radio stuff. So anyway, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick little video. So we'll catch you down, uh, catch you down the way.